Frequent with Got to Get It Done, uh, the channel where we talk about technology, productivity, and using technology for productivity. Uh, today I just wanted to do a follow-up video of a video I did uh, a little while ago uh, where I talked about the S Pen cases that are available for the S21 Ultra. Um, I went through each one of these, which was the Samsung case and the uh, Spigen uh, case. I'll link that video down below if it's something you wanted to watch. But when I was uh, looking for uh, something completely unrelated on Amazon, I happened to get a, see this come up in my feed. So I came across this case from Arari. I think it's how you pronounce it. Of course, I have no idea. It could be A-R-A-R-E. Not sure. Anyways, this is their Flex Field pen case uh, for the S21 Ultra. They call it a flexible material, has full protection, and is able to hold your S Pen. Um, this is the box that came in. I did take it out of the box yesterday when I got it, and I have been using it since yesterday. I wanted to use it for a little bit before um, I talked to you, everybody about it. Um, so let's take a look at the case. Um, here's the case itself. Um, it is uh, like a clear TPU. Um, I don't know what kind of quality the TPU is to see how long this will stay clear. Uh, but this is definitely one difference between the other ones is it's clear. So I know a lot of people like to have a clear case um, on their phone. So this is definitely one way to do that. It's actually pretty nice looking. Uh, it's definitely TPU, so it bends. Um, and uh, let's see what it looks like on the phone. So let's put the phone in here. Okay, now of course uh, this this one's going to have the same problem that I had uh, on the other cases and that's it makes it a little bit wider to hold and so the phone is definitely wide in the hand uh, when you when you hold one of these so that's that's not going to change at all. Um, I'm not sure uh, any case unless they figure out a way to put a, put the pen on the back somehow I don't see how that's going to keep a keep a, it from being too much wider but. Uh, let's take the, the pen itself, uh, slot, it only goes in one way, um, so it goes, if you put it in that way, it'll just fall right out, so you have to have it uh, basically like if you're going to put the, um, the Samsung logo uh, towards you, which is my preferred way to put it in. Um, the Spigen um, does it the opposite way, which makes it just a little bit wider uh, in your hand, and so I definitely like it with the flat side in like that. But it definitely clips in really well. It holds really good. Um, I actually was on a uh, run this morning and I forgot my armband, so I had to carry this uh, in my hand just as is, uh, and it was uh, super easy, no problem. Uh, it's really grippy. Uh, the case itself is really grippy, actually. Um, I really like how quickly, or I mean how strongly you can grip it. Uh, of course, it does get dirty. Um, does shows fingerprints here on the back. Um, unfortunate. Um, but again, holds the pen really well. Uh, it, it, one thing I noticed though, it was when I grab it, it's, it's a little sharp. So these edges here are a little bit sharp on both sides. Also here on the bottom, there's like, uh, probably some manufacturing, possibly like a little raised nib or something there from the manufacturing process that is also pretty sharp, uh, on both sides. Um, so I, it, it feels a little sharp in my hand. Uh, I don't know if that'll wear off over time um, and maybe make it a little bit smoother. But right now I can, I can definitely feel the edges here uh, in my palm. Let's take a look at the top of it uh, real quick. Um, all the cutouts for the uh, microphones are perfect. Um, the buttons here on the side uh, are actually really good. I like them a lot. They click perfectly, um, perfectly lined up. A uh, little branding here on this. Uh, on the bottom, um, not sure why, but uh, oh, there's a microphone hole there. That's why. So they made it uh, a little bit off center instead of making a separate microphone hole. They just uh, they just made this a little bit wider, so it's a little bit off center, but still works pretty good. And then the uh, speaker hole is good here. And then on this side, give you a close look of how the pen looks like in there. Uh, and it comes off really easy when you want it to come off. Uh, but again, it's pretty simple to get it get in there. Remember, you can't put it in this way. It's got to be uh, that way. Perfect. And like I said, it, is, it does hold. I, I don't have any worries about that popping off when you need it. Uh, on the back, you have uh, the raised lip over the 
camera and this one's pretty interesting because it actually has i don't know if you can see that yet um like a raised lip here on the corner and a raised lip on this corner and a raised lip on that corner and what that does is keep it flat so it's not um bouncing around when it's flat which i do definitely appreciate i definitely appreciate case that thinks that's through so uh thumbs up for that one for sure um that's about about it from the back um again let's see what it let's let's compare it size wise to the Spigen, which is the smaller of the two uh, i'll put them side by side there and as you can see it is a little bit uh, more narrow and it does feel narrow as far as these three cases go this is definitely the most narrow one i've i felt in my hand i'm not sure how they how they did that since they're pretty much the same but i think the speed in here because it, it it goes in the other direction has to be a little bit wider um, and then here on the samsung version um, again it does look a little bit a little bit more narrow than that one but i could tell you right now it feels a lot smaller in the hand uh, the samsung case it just feels really wide in the hand and thick so this one feels really good and as far as the, all three of these uh, this one i would say uh, definitely has the best hand uh, use it goes in and out of pocket no problem um, i didn't feel it uh, grabbing or gripping yeah overall it's a really nice case i've never had a case from this brand before but uh, it feels like it's going to be pretty uh, sturdy even if you drop it uh, it does have the raised lip um, so if you want to set it down that's good uh, plus it's clear and uh, this phone is looks really cool in a clear case and I, I, I kind of like how um, the pin looks in the clear case and because it's clear it doesn't make it look so wide like this one here where it's super bulky like that. Um, so I definitely like that look. That's really good. Um, and even better, um, it's very inexpensive. It was only uh, $13 on um, from Amazon. Uh, and it actually was on back order when I ordered it. I had to wait about a week, uh, but it looks like they got that one. Um, looks like they got it back in stock now, so that's good. Uh, I'll leave links to all this stuff below. Uh, uh, but yeah, if you're in the in the market again for an S Pen case uh, and you want to spend as least as possible and still get a good case that's going to do the job for you, uh, maybe you only need to carry your S Pen with you on certain situations, so you don't want to spend a lot of money on a case where you're going to take your S Pen with you. Uh, this is definitely a good one. Uh, I would recommend it. I like it. Well, thanks, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching my video, and uh, hope everybody has a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.